Hey y'all, you see all this sweat? <laughs> a couple things. I have a great story to tell y'all. So, um, I haven't walked since Colorado because I've been doing the um, realtor thing, like my business, my life. Um, but it's Mike's birthday and I've been wanting to walk anyway. So anyway, we ha we're having an amazing walk and there's a backstory to this and I know I'm jumping around a little bit like a Pulp Fiction mu movie, but that's just how I tell stories. But okay, back up and I may or may not have a habit of when I see people playing basketball outside their houses, when I mean people, I mean small boys, I am like, hey, throw me the ball. And I, well, one time I did this and I, they threw me the ball, but they looked terrified. I take the shot and it misses and it just goes into their yard. And I'm like, have a great day, boys. And I walk away and I didn't even go get the ball. But anyway, so every time we see children playing outside their home and maybe I've talked to some other kids outside and maybe I've scared a few of them, not all of them, maybe, maybe all of them. Kids these days startle so easily. Like I know there's stranger danger and we tell people not to talk to strangers, but do we mean that? Like strangers also can be helpful. Like I'm not scary. I'm going to like save your life if something's happening to you. So maybe we should, instead of stranger danger, be like, just like teach them how to go with their gut about strangers, but whatever. Back to the story. Mike and I are on our walk. It's his birthday. I'm sweating like a crazy woman because apparently if you don't walk in two weeks, you get out of shape. I was already out of shape. Anyway, we are walking up on these two young gentlemen and he said, don't you do it. You put your hands in your pockets. And I was like, Psh, I'm not going to do anything. But anyway, I ended up talking to the kids and I was like, giving them this great motivational speech. Mike's shaking his head, but y'all, I don't even think he gets embarrassed anymore because, you know, he's lived with me 20 years now. But anyway, so, but I didn't touch the ball. And when I was leaving, I said, see, babe, I inspired those boys and I didn't even touch the ball. And the kid said, bet, do you want to take a shot? And I was like, bet. And I ran back, which y'all, I don't even run. I walk. I walk because I can't run. So I run back like as in I'm the bomb. And I said, yeah, I'll take a shot, but you boys want to play a little two on two. And they said, bet. And I said, bet, because this, you, you can make your way into any young boy's heart. If you just say bet or rip or something, but some don't say Netflix and chill. That doesn't mean what you think it means anyway. So we, we get on with this game and, um, we let them go first and we took out some warm up shots and we totally missed. And it was great. I said, y'all have nothing to worry about. We're just two old fat people. Just thank you for letting us old decrepit people play ball with you. You're sparking the old dreams, right? Well, anyway, boy, they were shocked when right away we started whooping up on them, but we let them win because the young, the tinier of the kid was guarding me. And that's not a good idea just because I'm a little aggressive, but those who were worried because you know how I play ball, I was totally gentle on this kid. I'm not a monster. Um, anyway, they won, but they were, the, it blessed my heart so much, y'all, because listen, the older kid said, same time tomorrow. <laughs> and I said, hey, do y'all have a water hose I can drink out of? And they're like, bet. <laughs> so you drink out of a water hose? I'm like, yeah. I'm an 80s kid. We drink out of water hoses. I went to give him a high five. I'm like, how y'all feeling about COVID? Like, so anyway, we high fived because we can. It's that that's our business. And I guess I'll wash my hands here in a minute. Then then they're like, oh, we don't care. Our parents are nurses. I said, great. Now I have COVID. But anyway, thank y'all for listening. That's my story. Um, and I'm sticking to it. It's Mike Danley's birthday. And I didn't get him a gift or a card or cake. The day's still young. It, the day's still young. Um, if you think about it, let's just flood his freaking phone, blow him up, call him at work, distract him all day. Anyway, I love y'all. Have a great day. Bye.